Hi, this is the video for lesson 11-3 on sector area and arc length. And I will scoot through this as quickly as possible, although I'm not promising that it will be quick because it's kind of a lot of material. And um, you will have homework to go with it, of course. All right, so let's get started. The area of a sector is a fraction of the circle containing the sector. Let's look at that before we keep going. The area of a sector, so here's a sector, it's like a piece of the pie. The area of the sector is a fraction of the area of the circle containing the sector. Well, that makes sense. Of course, the area of this is going to be a fraction of the area of the whole thing. To find the area of a sector whose central angle measures m, multiply the area of the circle times m degrees over 360 degrees. Okay, now let's talk about that. We see that the measure of this sector, or this um, central angle or arc, are m degrees. So to find out what part of the circle that is, we would make a fraction, m 360ths. That's like saying one half or one third, but it's m 360ths. And we want, if we want to find out what that fraction is, of the whole circle to find out what the sector is, then we say the fraction times 360, or 360 times the fraction, which is what the formula tells us. It tells us the area of a sector is equal to pi r squared, or area of a circle, times the fraction. So it's like saying one half of the area of the circle. Let's go over here and look at a really quick example that I did just to make that really clear for you. The area of the shaded sector here is running along the diameter, which means we have a semicircle or that I've shaded half of the circle. So our formula says area equals pi r squared, so area of a circle, times 180 over 360. This reduces to one half. We can do the math with it the way that it is right now, or we can do the math with one half. Either way, the answer will come out the same because these two are equivalent fractions. So we're gonna say area equals pi r squared times one half. Our pi r squared, r squared is gonna be four because the radius is two. So four pi times one half is two pi. And then if we needed a decimal number, of course we would just multiply two times pi. All right, let's come back to our official definition. A sector of a circle is a region bounded by two radii of the circle and their intercepted arc. Let's look at what that means. The sector of a circle is a region bounded by two radii. So that means it has a radii running along each side and it, their intercepted arc. So it's bound by two radii and its intercepted arc. Okay, moving on to example one. Finding the area of a sector. Find the area of each sector and give your answer in terms of pi and then round it to the nearest hundred. So we're gonna look at sector MPN. That's what the first one is asking us for. So let's come over here where we can see the picture. And it's kind of challenging because I need to get my book flatter. Okay, we see sector MPN. We're naming it like an angle, sector MPN. But of course we would put sector in front of it instead of the little angle sign. And we know that the formula says that area of that sector equals pi r squared, or the area of the circle, times m 360ths, or the number of degrees of the arc or angle over the total degrees of the circle, which is 360. So we have, I hope you can see this okay, pi r squared times, and I filled in the 80 degrees, so 80 over 360, and our radius is three, so that means it r squared is nine. So we have nine pi times 80 360ths. You enter that in your calculator. I just said nine times 80 divided by 360. That gives me two pi because it was really nine pi. So they want our answer in terms of pi and then in terms of a decimal number to the hundredths place, two pi equals 6.28 inches squared. Okay, let's look at the next example. The next one wants us to find the area of sector EFG. Let's come look at the circle with sector EFG. So EFG is 120 degrees. I'm gonna do my area of a sector formula. It equals pi r squared times whatever the 
angle or arc degrees is over the full degrees of a circle, which is 360. So I have pi r squared times 120 over 360. r squared is 36, so I have 36 pi equals 120 over 360. I'm going to multiply 36 times 120 divided by 360, and that's going to give me 12 pi because pi was part of my answer. So that's my first answer, and then that equals 37.70 centimeters squared. All right, I did do one of the check it out at the bottom, and I'm just going to, I'm not going to walk through it, but I'm resting on it for a minute so that you can pause, do it on your own, and study it if you need further help with that. Okay, let's move on to example two at the top of page 765. This is simply a word problem application of the exact same principle. A circular plot with a 720 foot diameter is watered by a spray irrigation system. To the nearest square foot, what is the area that is watered as the sprinkler rotates through an angle of 50 degrees? Let's look right here. So I redrew one of these circular plots over here with an angle of 50 degrees and a diameter of 720, which gives us a radius of 360. Then I applied the formula, pi r squared times m degrees over 360. r squared is 129,600, and then pi times 50 over 360. And here's the pi answer, and here's the full answer. All right, so I'm going to start another video dealing with areas of segments. What we just finished was area of sectors. So stay tuned for the second one, second video.